there's been a great deal of apprehension. There's no doubt about that. We're uh, sort of after all this time, we're kind of moving toward the conclusion, and uh, it's going to be pretty tense in the room to, uh, you know, to get the feeling of what's going on and how people are going to react. And uh, it seems that the further away you get from this, the the, the more raw the emotion is, if I can put it that way. Uh, there's people in other cities and across Canada that have see this as purely race and purely black and white and this sort of thing. But for those of us who have been around there and in it, we see it, we see it shades of gray inside that. So yeah, I, I can see that if, it, uh, if, if it's an acquittal, let's say, there'll be sort of an uprising all across the country. People will be all upset about this. But not having been there, they'll, they'll see it in terms of black and white. I think it's got uh, a lot of potential to be uh, one of those defining moments. And in my own heart, after watching everything, it's not really a defining moment, I don't think. At the end of this, they, they've gone through a whole trial. They, they, they've, they've seen what happened. It's, it's not a pretty story. There's no heroes here. There's no winners. It's, it's a very sad story from the beginning to the end. Uh, I think they, you know, they're looking for a conclusion. Uh, they're looking for some kind of justice to be handed down. Um, and I really don't know, I really can't take it any further than that. I don't know if they, they want the maximum or they'll be prepared to, I think they'll be prepared to accept, to accept something less.